hello guys party is back so uh, in previous video i have already talked about how you can create this nlp app uh, using flask so if you have not watched that video then click on the i button and watch that previous video first after this video so in previous video we have implemented our website or we can say web application uh, using locally that application runs on this my machine but uh, if i want to run that application on another machine or another in my mobile it will not run so i need to deploy that my flask web application into internet so in this video i'm showing you how you can do this thing so we will do this thing with heraku so let's see how you have to do so just uh, understand this is my previous working directory which is i shown in previous video so just uh, copy the uh, important uh, part of the file like this csv this app and static and template folder copy this four thing and make a new folder outside of a working directory so now this is your working directory okay open the directory in the pycharm so open the code if you want, i'm not explaining you code once again just uh, if you want to understand then watch previous video first the code is same but you have to change the something if you want to deploy your code then you have to remove it for uh, debug is equal to true here because uh, in a production server debugging is not possible for uh, this local application so i have removed the debug is equal to true now you have to make the more changes here uh, not the changes you have to implement the some of the things here so now you have to create a one requirement.txt file here in the requirement.txt you have to mention dos library which is you used in your application so numpy plus scikit learn with version you have to mention it with version uh, because uh, sometimes uh, a version may give the error so from the for the sqln just i have mentioned the version for other libraries it's okay to have a latest version or previous version so i have mentioned all the details in the requirement dot txt so now you have to go to your google and search for a heraku heraku is a service heraku is a one kind of service provider which uh, will allow us to deploy your machine learning and application to internet so already have implemented this five application on the internet so you need to just uh, create account in the heraku after that uh, i have mentioned this uh, file in the description so download this file so in that uh, there are more heraku cheat command so open that link uh, you have to download heraku from here so now uh, download heraku from here you can see there are 64 bit installer and 32 bit installer so download it according it your windows or you know according to your version so after downloading just close this site now we don't have to do anything on the site you can even perform this stage uh, this uh, steps on the site also but we are doing this from the command prompt so let's see how we can do this thing so now open your command prompt here cmd now actually how heraku is working heraku is integrated with the github so your code will be hosted uh, on the github and from that code heraku will provide you a virtual environment to your application so your application will virtually run on the heraku but it is stored in a github so you understand this concept there are this concept is easy so now you have to log in here so just in your command prompt write heraku login so just for you have to uh, it will open one tab so in that tab you have to mention your username and password so wait for just minute i i need to log in here it will open the tab automatically just wait for it a tab is automatically open just click on the login okay so i am successfully logged in so i don't need to open this tab so just close it so now you can see my account is logged in here now come back to cheat sheet so now we need to initialize our repository means we have to upload all this data into github because we need to host our file so just copy this command and git initialize here 
initialize empty git repository so my repository is now initialized here so now we need to create our application name so this is a command heraku create so understand the thing here here you can see mention build pack is equal to python because your application need a python if you have a node.js application or some other application then you have to mention that thing but my application is built on python so i need to mention python here so now i need to change the application name here so i'm just giving application name test nlp so remember that name because now this will be your application name so just enter so it will create this test nlp application okay so test nlp is already taken by some uh, some person so just i am giving another name like test your name should be unique so test 5 okay so my name my application name is a test 5 i don't know what will be in my name spidey test i hope this name is not taken by anyone okay okay so i need to delete some application here so just wait for a minute i am deleting application so i have deleted some of the my application which is hosted on the heraku so just for testing so let's once again i hope uh, on a one error will not come okay so my application is created spidey test okay now once again go to the command so now you have to git initialize remotely here so this is the command go we'll copy here and now you have to mention your application name here spidey then test because this is my application name okay so my git repo git uh, set in this folder here you can see git folder is created now this is a pip install uh, g unicorn so this is the library you need to install if you want to and deploy your application so i already install uh, in my system if you don't have then just uh, install with this command which is i provided in the command prompt now this is uh, now uh, it's time for the most important step you have to create a one proc file here so this file is a not a text, uh, text file so how you can create it just uh, using a pycharm or you can do it directly just uh, click on the here new file and create but don't uh, use a txt extension otherwise it will not consider so now my proc file is created now we have to write one thing here only one line so add it with it and not fed plus now your this thing should be same for everyone but now these two will be differ so here i have mentioned a capital app so here you have to mention your python file name which will contain which is containing your flask application so you can see i already mentioned here your heraku app name you can see file name means your python file name if your python file name is a test then you have to write a test here here you have to write test but after colon you have to write your application name means your variable name where your application is initialized so in my consider in my application in my app.py you can see my application is initialized on app variable so you you have to uh, means i have to write app here but if if in your case it if it uh, like something or name like test or something else variable name then you have to mention that variable here so now this thing for you now save this profile now i think everything is done you need to just understand the structure static template your python file the csv file because this code requires the csv file uh, your requirement file because Heraku will install all the requirement in virtual server and run your code on that server. So now it's time to do final thing here.
so now just copy this command control c so once again git commit here so now this thing will be committed now it's time to the git add so after git add now i have just uh, i need to commit all the file on the github server so you can see git commit uh, m first commit for heraku guys if you don't know github command then you need to know github basic command so you can do google it and you can learn github commands because it is most important thing so now if i enter then my all the thing will be pushed into my github means committed into a github now it's time to the push my github files all the files into github and heraku so this is the command git push heraku master master is your branch and now it will push into heraku so paste this command here and it takes us uh, some time because now you can see uh, just uh, focus on this uh, command from python app detector installing python 3.6 because i have used the python 3.6 now it is installing pip now it is installing sqlite 3 so it will install all the required libraries you can see uh, numpy is downloaded flash scikit learn pandas a library which is mentioned in the requirement.txt will or and all of the required file on the required library will be downloaded on the heraku so after this wait for the some time now it is compressing our file so around one one or two minute i will get the my application url so on that url my application will be run so my total application size is 117 so this is the url now uh, if you uh, are having a trouble then one another thing you have to do open cmd once again here you have to check the logs here because if you will get the error then you won't understand what is the error so just command uh, there is a command here to log and tell so it will give me every second log of my application you can see my build is successful here if i got the error then it will show here so copy this url and going to the browser you can see my application is uh, on live you can see spidey test heraku app so just i am writing hello world you can see i got the not spam message here like i am entering one another message you want the lot Three of ten dollar rupees. You want the lottery of ten dollar. Please give me your bank details. Now it looks like a spam because someone is asking for your bank details. i think i have issue in the code i i need to check let's try it once again anyway guys i need to check it but uh, the, the concept is that how you can deploy your machine learning app into uh, heraku so this is just a testing application i think uh, some code may be have a error so just ignore it but you can see my application currently working good even i got the prediction from the server so now it depend on the code if i get the wrong prediction then my code should have some error 
so just uh, like this video if you have any error and uh, if you have any kind of suggestion just uh, uh, give me in the comment box and subscribe our machine learning hub channel if you have not visited my channel uh, then just visit my channel there are lots of number of playlist available related to machine learning deep learning computer vision you can see there are number of playlist available so like and share this video with your friends don't forget to subscribe so that's all for the today video so see you in the next one